Hey guys, welcome back to Face It TV here for the G2A.com European Cup, where we have the final map for this semi final between Hellraisers and Dat. Follow me on Twitter because Dan has more uh, followers than me, and he's taking the mic during the breaks. Why would you trust this guy? He's always lying and giving you bisons. I mean, why would you trust Hey that? man, those bisons are popular. I think, I think we're going to do another one. Since we had to give away two on Sunday because one guy was too slow to give us his trade link, I think we'll have to do another one now. Because Schneider's one was supposed to be on Sunday. But now we've given that away today, I think we'll have to do... That is, of course, if the coin says bison on Sunday. But should it say bison on Sunday, we will be fully prepared, guys. Fully prepared to service you <laughs> with another crap bison. <laughs> on the subject of skins, chaps... Ladies and gentlemen, again, we are still, the uh, Twitter giveaway is still open until the uh, conclusion of the broadcast. So definitely head over to Face It on Twitter and you could win yourself an AWP pink DD Pats minimal wear. And uh, of course there is Facebook as well. If, you are on, if your book is a face, then uh, you can head over there to facebook.com forward slash face it community. Where you can win yourself Stat Track M4A1S. Okay. Dark water. I mean, Blade really needs to teach them how to do knife rounds or something because they just lost another knife round. God damn it. They, they start T again. Oh dear. Again and again and again. They start T constantly. This is a nice open map though. And with, yeah. with these warpers, like, I, I do wonder if they're going to choose to engage each other in mid or if, say, um, Simple's going to go over to hold uh, the B bomb site, or if he's going to play CT on A. I think it depends entirely on the spo the, s the spawns that they get. To be honest, I'm guessing Simple's probably going to rotate all over the place because the the timings. You c there's so many cool timings you can do depending on the spawns, whether it's an apartments push, whether it's a connector push, or a just like going for apps, or whether it's going to the window, or it's going to the left side of the window, or doing a very delayed peak, there's, or just going straight for the jungle peak. There's so many different peaks and timings for the orpers on this map um, that. I think you're, you're going to see them all over the place, and sometimes they're going to meet, sometimes they won't. That's that's my my expectation at least. I doubt <coughs> we'll see um, consistent just being in the window all the time or something like that. I feel like Simple is going to rotate a hell of a lot more on the CT side than World Edit is. He seems like he seems to be very similar to like a JW kind of Orpa in the way he moves around maps. Yeah, just really the quickly. <coughs> the aggressive, the aggressive Orpa. I guess I guess those are the those are the names you think of Kenny S at the top, JW, uh, Simple. Um, I guess are the three main candidates for that. But we do have the piss around kicking off now. Final map between Hellraisers and Dat. So very important stuff here in this uh, G2A.com European Cup. Loser does at least go home with a thousand dollars, but the winner gets to play for uh, for 5k as first place prize against LDLC on Sunday. And here's Kuchu just going for the jump spots, but not going to spot anything just yet. Just a little bit, a uh, little bit of action over there, but uh, all the inconclusive information for Hellraisers at the moment. Again, no. Oh, oh no, <laughs> Dozier walked oh. past. Oh no, <laughs> he actually takes down Flamey. Great, great work there from Dozier. Whether he intended it or not, he's going to put uh, his team in a nice spot to defend A. They're going to go for that uh, push through connector, but after losing their, their man in the palace, they have to think about this again. They can still go B if they want to. You can see the passive positioning now from Hellraiser's Dozier positioning himself to uh, rotate should it be necessary. Got to be careful. Bondic looking for the flank there, but Dozier will get the better of him. Blade going to fall down on B as well. 25 seconds, two T's remaining. Bomb in the middle of mid. Not sure if it's been seen just yet by the uh, CTs. Was well, it going to be the last man standing here? And he's not really got time. He's just got. He's, he doesn't have time. He doesn't have health. He doesn't have teammates. And they're just playing with him. They're toying with him. And he's going to. There's just nothing that he can do. And he's going to go down finally. And uh, this could be very rough for for Dat now because obviously this map is is pretty darn CT sided. And so, if that can't string together, that th you know the the first buy or the the buy on the the fifth round, you know, if, if th that doesn't work out for them, it, it could just it could just they, just they just might just fall flat on their face in this. I think if as long as they have money for an AWP, they anything can happen. 
It comes down to that. It comes. It comes down to uh, furnishing world edit with an orb. In terms of how their CT side will go, if they can't do that, then they may struggle. If they can do that, then he he could entry frag all day. So we're actually getting a kind of a trade going on here with the Deagle headshots. So can they turn this into something? Well, a few players going down immediately will make life a little bit harder, but more kills coming in to going down. That's good damage there for that. Definitely uh, worth the investment of these pistols. And uh, well, that it can't retrieve the bomb because if he goes that deep into mid against three people all with different angles, he's dead. Yep. So the round's over with that regard, unless the CT's overextended, he can pop some heads. I mean, the, the goal for him is just to get another frag. So it w I mean, the best plan is, is really what he's doing, is just try, just try to get a sneaky engagement. But he's got to run out and die before the timer, because they're going to start hunting him otherwise and, you know, dying off the timer. Pretty bad as a T, so they are going to finally take him down, Dozy gets the kill. And we see the, uh, the potential for a force up here. And there it is, getting those guns in. What am I talking about? It's the third round, James. I'm going crazy to get our buy coming in. But the problem is, obviously, is that uh, severe lack of grenades. So that's going to really make it so they're going to have to get some picks going. Yeah, so rather than uh, go for that, that additional eco to go for the AWP, they're going to go for the buy to uh, stop Hellraiser's money from growing. So again, a decision to be made there, and they've, they've gone for the one that keeps the pressure up on the counter terror, as you can see, simple there. That's the man they want to keep off that AWP. So if they can do great economical damage here, if not win the round, then the longer they can keep him keep <coughs> excuse me, the longer they can keep him off the AWP, the better. So slow tentative rounds here at the moment. That not having that much trouble just taking mid for the time being again, and once there's an AWP in play on the CT side, that may change. But for the time being, they have uh, two guys and they will rotate the bomb over towards the A bomb site. Markolov getting that important pick in Connector. That's going to make the push a little bit harder. World Edit was in a position to stop flanking from short, but he's fallen as well to Simple. And this is not going to plan here for that. They have managed to take down two of the CTs. Make that three. So uh, the balance... Going back in their favor now as the bomb does go down. Bondic with 12 HP still manages to survive, but his position is compromised. Two versus one now. Angel uh, going to have to try and get a fast frag on one of them. He has to be paranoid about the palace guy, Bondic. He is in a very passive position. It's going to be a case of fake the fuse, peak, fake the fuse, peak. Is he going to peak after the first defuse attempt? No. Good gamble there by Bondic. Having such low health is going to be very difficult, but Angel with no kit is not going to be able to do much. So well played there by Bondic in the end. And we do get ourselves a round for that. So they can actually get themselves on the board early. And, and once again, you know, this, this map can be quite painful if the CTs don't get their economy going. Um, but there is, if you're, but it depends on the team as well, because some teams are very, very good at playing the low eco style. Virtus Pro, for example, um, they had a huge stretch where they were a very fearsome team on this map. And they were always able just to play with rifles. They didn't really need the scars of the orbs, really. So you really have to note very quickly, Angel finished that round. He survived, obviously. Finished that round with $5,000. Could have dropped two weapons, so Kucha would have had one. But they obviously recognize the importance of Simple having an AWP here. So he's gone straight for the AWP on Simple. Simple misses that frag in mid. We've got three people, four people going towards B at the moment. Are the CTs going to find it? There is a smoke uh, in the vicinity at the moment, but it's missed. No nades at all for Hellraisers. And just a beagle on Kucha. Only two kits. This is, uh, this is not great for Hellraisers on the buy. But they kind of know, rough, well, they knew where Simple was. They saw him at short, but it's pretty impossible to know where he's moved to now. But look at this flank we got on CT spawn. But as I say that, Markov does get picked off in CT spawn by Flamey. So that's going to go a bit awry. But that's going to tell them a lot a lot about what's going on. That's why they have so many players towards B at the moment. But that, they aren't making a move just yet. This is so smart. Just keep the hold so far. Hellraisers, they know they must be nearby, but where are they? They haven't shown themselves just yet. Simple. Going to actually fall back from that position. And uh, Dren going to take over Connector. There goes Kucha. There goes the peak from that. As we do see uh, Blade looking for the frag. Of, uh, and he's going to actually get taken down by the Deagle. Good work there. That's going to be a gun picked up. Simple. Going back to CT spawn. Gets the tag. And the bomb is going to go down during all of this madness from that. And 
we do have a three, a two on three with that bomb taken away. So what a chaotic round here as Simple does make his way back to Kitchen. But Bondic, a good position there by Short. Ooh, barely makes it. Kucha takes him down. All on World Edit with that Galil over by Headshot. This is, this is going to be very tough. World Edit. Do well here to get another couple frags. Oh, he does get the second one. And there's not enough time left for Simple. Gets the shot, but has to hightail it out of there to keep that AWP alive. And I, I, that was so hard to follow the movement of all the players in that round. <laughs> That's kind of weird. That was, that was very nerve-wracking play. If you're a Hellraiser yeah. player, the way that played, that was so, so nerve-wracking. Yeah. Like they were just all holding angles, waiting for Hellraisers to try and just for that itch to find the information just to take them a bit too far into the reticle of Simple or uh, the crosshairs of one of their other plays, but it just it just didn't happen. You saw how long Simple was holding the tightest of tight angles there in the apps area. That smidgen of a peak all the way down to uh, the underpass stairs is very, very hard to play against. But uh, Flamey with excellent aiming there, taking down Markolov, holding the CT position. That's going to let his... Um, Colleagues just push straight onto the site, trying to plant for CT, but there's another player already, and that's going to be Simple with the AWP. Got to be careful. They managed to plant it for short instead. <laughs> simple taking down a trend, just causing absolute havoc. Meanwhile, around the map, those who are taking down Bondic, suddenly it's a four versus two. Two terrorist weapons on the CTs now. Going to be a hard hold for that team. Those who are taking down Blade and Flamey as well. Oh my god. They're going to feel so gutted that they just they had all the smokes, but they just didn't smoke CT. Nobody has armor yeah. on the Hellraiser side. And they've survived with four players huge and picked swing. up three terrorist guns. This is a massive round for Hellraisers. Really huge swing. <laughs> just, just the fact that they had no smoke on CT and Simple is just like... Thanks, guys. <laughs> like, why wouldn't you smoke this? That was really rough. Um, I don't think they were expecting a second player uh, to be there so far. They yeah. tried to plant for City and they're like, whoops. Yeah, it's, it happens, doesn't it? You can't account for all things. And and Hellraiser's has got, got the opening they needed. Simple's in the right place at the right time. And now it's a really good uh, good uh, jump start for Hellraiser's, to be honest. Because like you said, picking up three weapons, that is big value out of nowhere. That's a massive swing. And that were looking really good at taking control of this, but at least uh, Blaze able to pick up a kill there and uh, an M4 as well. Might be able to do some more damage with it. But they are split up here. Nice angle there from, from Angel. He threw a Molotov into the apps, but didn't hold the angle on the window. He wanted them to have to jump out to in order to engage him there, and that would have made them go through the flames as well. So very smart play. They're not giving them an easy frag. Not taking unnecessary risk. They know how important this is. This is the last map. Every frag counts here. Simple not getting the uh, frag. Peaks again down to 31 HP now. Still peaking. Blade just taking his time there. But uh, doesn't manage to win those duels. Markolov going to take him out. That's going to be 4-2 to Hellraisers. Again, they've got four people surviving that round. And look at the money build on the Hellraisers side. I'm very curious to see what they're going to do this time. I mean... They have a few smokes, so they could try to get something going on, on A if they wanted, but it uh, looks like they're just going to play uh, a little bit more passively. Um, looks like they're splitting up for picks here. Or, or what they could do is go for the A split through Connector, get these players up from underpass down onto to Connector, avoid the Yorper initially, and uh, try to push Connector. If they can get Connector control, they might be able to actually uh, make a strong push into this round, but look at that. Markov, very good response over by Connector, and. With nobody flashing in, it's it's very difficult if there's someone standing there. And we're going to see how he's pretty much clean this up now. And with with that in the position that they're in on the money, this is this is looking bad for them now. Really bad. Yeah, still early days though. Only four two on the scores at the moment. Again, less favoured side, but only two rounds by. And looking like it's going to be three. They do still have two AKs on deck though. Let's see what kind of damage they can do. Not much as not much as the uh, incendiary comes in. Dozier takes Flamey's head off. Only Bondic remaining. Team Flash is coming in from Palace, but he's at the other end taking down Kucha. So, a little bit of respite there, but uh, with 40 seconds remaining, I think these CTs are probably going to hunt him down here in T-Spawn. Nice uh, couple of francs there from Bondic. Always going to be happy to get that economic damage in. And uh, 20 seconds left, this is not happening, but... Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it would be pretty nice if you can just keep, keep
keep this alive, especially as he has the incendiary as well, a lot of value there. Can pick up the uh, the bomb. I'm not sure what his plan is exactly, because he's kind of just running all over the place. I think it was the frags. economical damage, yeah, because yeah. I mean, he's put in a bit of work here now. Get taken down in the end, uh, so we'll have to see if that can come back into this with their next buy. Obviously, they're ecoing again here, but we haven't yet seen them really go for one of those A set plays, and it's hard to say why they haven't shown us that yet. We just we haven't seen that many rounds where they've had a lot of money, but uh, so far, Hellraisers are playing pretty brilliantly, just very strong in the execution, good reads, holding the right spots um, in the on, on the map. You know, they've got good connector control, good middle control at the moment, and uh, that are struggling to, to, to basically fight for map control in any spot. So we have one player, that's a Dren, pushing towards the apps at the moment. Meanwhile, just waiting for that smoke to go, and they're going to start creeping towards the A site world that it is. They're going to be in a position looking towards CT, but um, not much doing at the moment. Getting cleaned up, Markov with only 2 HP. And uh, Kucha laughing about that frag as he falls to a Dren. But uh, again, a minimal damage. Only one man falling for Hellraisers, and the money is piling up, piling up, piling up. We've got, we're looking at five figures now for Dozier, Angel. Four round lead here, round nine on the board. Let's have a look at who is doing what. Dozier are going to be the first man to reach 10 kills here in this uh, final round of this five mapper between these two teams who know each other all too well. Again, that's that very, very tight angle you can see Simple sees him cross towards the stairs and that will allow him to take a more aggressive position now as he has backup in the name of Kucha and that's going to be a Dren falling as uh, Hellraisers will be happy with that frag and they will fall back. You can see it's almost a complete rotation out of B. In fact it is. They're all going over to A slash mid as they know that will be a big deterrent for that. We've got the uh, standard nades coming in here on the A side. Let's see what they can do with them. Well, they aren't really pushed up in, and this is a smart choice to actually back away at this point. They couldn't get up quickly enough. They smoked everything off. They've caused a bit of a rotation, and uh, it, I really like that they waited here. Because if they all get stuck at jump boxes or the Tetris, then then they'll just basically get all fragged. They, 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 you need to get onto the site, and they, uh, they basically s marked out quickly enough that that wasn't going to happen. Problem is, though, Simple still alive at CT here is just wreaking havoc. We do have uh, Dozier able to pick up Blade as well. Bondic and Flamey putting in some work, but Dozier with that position is just uh, too strong. And and yeah, it, it, this is another one of those situations where Hellraisers, they got their, their little push. Remember this happened on Nuke a few times, and then boom, they kind of know what's going, going to happen. They get, even get a kill out of it as well. So there was supposed to be a distraction there from the guy on apps to kind of make it a little bit more obscure about what's going on, to give another few seconds to the guys to push in, into A, but they got taken out and then they knew exactly what was going to happen. So Hellraiser's all over that at the moment. What are they to do? Indeed. You can see uh, this is one round where that won't have immediate control over the mid area. Simple just holding another angle on the apps. He won't see that jump pass into underpass. See, Dren is also in underpass. That's Looking a really... towards connector. Uh, was that a CT smoke or a T smoke? Because a Dren threw a deeper smoke, and that, that deeper smoke is something that can be really strong for the Ts, because it means that you can push it into connector if, you, if your teammates flash you in. But Markov is still there, just wrecking faces. Does take down Bondic. Trade comes in from Adren, and here comes the boost, but Angel's ready to receive that one. And that's the three on four. And oh, they can't... Oh, that boost! Yeah, that very, boost. very nice boost there. I th I Over <laughs> the smoke. They're boosting simple everywhere at the moment. This is awesome. And this is supposed to be that's stronger, one of the strongest maps for them. Obviously, um, they are on the T side. It's harder on the T side. Getting five rounds, they're going to be happy with that. Um, but but that said, you know, we had the situation in the previous route, uh, previous map where that are playing in uh, Inferno and they kind of destroy Hellraisers and Hellraisers are supposed to be better there. So we should we need to throw all that out the window. Yeah. Well, this is this this map I I had as a as a big question mark because yeah. Again, it's just just the the orping I think is or should dictate a lot of it. And simple again. Palace push there for that frag from simple. Just absolute havoc. Being he's all over the place. Like you, you cannot predict it, can you? I mean, it's so hard to predict where he's going to be. And Hellraisers are making this look like a complete no contest so far. I mean, they've, they've dropped two rounds, but the the rounds that uh, that 
had okay chances in. It still looked like they just couldn't hit the shots. They couldn't get the position. Hellraisers just looked like a better team. And uh, How many rounds do that need on the, they, on the T side? They here? really need at least five, to be honest, in my opinion. I, I've, see, I've seen crazy comebacks being made against Hellraisers for, from on the CT side where they Hellraisers lose like 14 in a row or something. But at that said, five is a really nice nice uh, mark to hit, in my opinion, for that. They can possibly get there. Your damage done to simple, but he's not dead, and that's the problem. You need to get him dead. Well, then it has got an AWP of its own, though, but uh, oh, running out of chances shot. to use it. That is going to be simple down. Two people... Uh, remaining for Hellraisers in mid. Why did it taking down another one? But he's got to cut down the third as well. Or one of his teammates do. The bomb is down. That's going to be lots of information here for the uh, CTs. And that have to be paranoid about getting flanked while they go for the bomb. And that's almost exactly what happens as Markov takes out Bondic while he turns away to go and grab the bomb. One man advantage now for Hellraisers. They're going to vacate the B bomb site for the time being and reposition to try and stop these uh, T's pushing. But that, uh, sorry, while they're getting another frag. Spotted the position of uh, one of the remaining two CTs. Where is his teammate for assistance? Nice. Potentially going to get flanked here by Kucha as Flamey starts to creep towards the bomb. 40 seconds remaining. Let's see if this timing from Kucha. He's not going to find him yet, but uh, they have no idea where Kucha is, and that's going to be really important as Kucha starts to rotate back towards CT spawn. You can see why that it's just uh, being very careful. Again, he's going to pick up that M4, so he's a bit more dynamic when he... Uh, identifies where the opponent oh is. No. He's going to get shot in the back of the head. The time as well. It's going to be very difficult to deal with this now because he has to go for A with the bomb. Oh, is he he's not got, even... He's got to go for the frag. He's going for the frag. This is really smart for Kucha to back away here. Oh, I mean, only not only getting the, oh, the angle Kucha's change, but... Get away in time. Oh, oh no. man. That is soul-destroying. It really is because... Well did it, man. He picked up four kills with the all. Well did it was like, no, this just cannot happen. We are winning this round. I just killed four guys alone with the AWP. It, didn't even ha it wasn't even trades, really. It's just like straight up killing people when he's flashed over and over again. But it still wasn't enough. That's, that's definitely rough to deal with. But there's still a chance for them. They've got a buy going into this one. And they're spreading up, spreading out a little bit uh, on the map. So we'll have to see what their plan is here. I mean, it's very hard for them to get into middle. Every time they've tried to take middle, they've had a lot of problems. Harrises have been doing a fantastic work there. And so we are seeing uh, two players on Palace and uh, the bomb are on slope. This is indicative of a play towards A, of course. But we do really need to see the guy on middle either make his way to connector or, or so provide some kind of distraction here for these A guys. Well, as we've seen in the past from Versus Pro, they've pretty much just left mid altogether. Yeah. They're just like, screw, screw this place. We don't, you can't plant the bomb in mid, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Stand in the mid as long as you want to. But they dominate connector and yeah. it's, it, that's where it was made there uh, for their defense a lot of the time. Let's see if uh, Mark Love can do the same on round 13. He will fall too well, then it with an assist from Madrid. Simple going to be trying to get some revenge frags, but Smoke's all over the shop. Going to make his job a bit hard. Adren going to get him from behind and get a second frag onto Dozier as well. This could be a bit of a renaissance here for that, as uh, the bomb does go down five on two now. Practically no damage done to that, which makes a change, as it is 10-2 to Hellraiser's Angel getting one frag on well. They're going to they're gonna go for this. They've got the money too, and uh, that don't. So they're going to try and get in as much economic damage as possible for these final rounds here, should they not be able to win this. One versus three now. Angel, last one standing. Only two remaining for that. He won't have time to plant the bomb, but he just wants to bring as much pain to them as possible. Yeah, I mean, Angel's fine here. Just having some fun, getting some frags. They're so far ahead on every every conceivable respect, so it's, it's very difficult no matter what happens now for, for that. But at least they take that round, and obviously we had some great work there from Adrenaline, and they did manage to get their way to Connector. They caught Markle off, go off guard, and that was really, really huge there. And we'll have to see if uh, we'll have to see if they can keep the ball rolling. As we've got World Edit there with the AWP. Where is he taking himself to? So they're expecting potentially a push here, or at least preparing for a push. Don't want to get caught off guard. And we've seen them use that to great effect previously. But uh, standard stuff here so far. They might just be going for the similar play here, but Simple in middle going to take down word on it. That's a really big frag there. Simple being really rocking the position here with, with the AWP on short. Very strong. Especially if you're getting teammates flashing over for you. It's very deadly. And we are seeing that once again struggling to get into middle towards connector. Which so far is actually empty. 
Yeah, Blade has to be very, very careful there because he is carrying the bomb. If he starts advancing up, mir up Mirage, up mid, and uh, loses a bomb, then the round may be over. You can see, he is going to yeah, well. go over towards A, where two of his teammates are as Adren just admires his uh, knife while he stands in the flames and goes down to 36 HP. He's going to be running distraction there. You can see um, Angel just holding the mid area, going to start to go towards B. So uh, we'll see if they can clear the site. And in fact, they have two fast frags there on Dozier and Markov. They're going to go for a very open plant there, which is exposed to uh, to lower A on the T side, over to short as well, to connector. Lots of different places. So uh, th three versus three. Hellraiser is going to be slowed down by these smoke grenades. They see the arm of Bondic. He's going to get shot, but only a little bit. 93 HP remaining. Flamey just checking for the flank there. He's going to just try and remain unknown. Go for the trade frags, but won't even need to. He gets Kucha before he can do anything. Clock is running down as well. That is a fast frag. The fuse coming in as simple. Just cleans house. This man, you just this guy is really good. There is just no no question about it. I mean, if he misses that that one, even one of those shots. I mean, the diffuser is probably going to die or enough time's wasted where that might not happen, but this guy is so good. 11 to 3, that really struggling. This is recoverable. It absolutely is on this map. Absolutely is. But, I mean, with the Scar coming in for Dozier, the, shenanig the Scar shenanigans in play, this is certainly going to be a difficult thing for that to deal with. And uh, Simple has a long time to make that shot. Saw the arm for a quite a long time. And uh, that just going to see what they can do. Just, just running in to, for some angles. See what they can find. This is looking like a rout right now. We have come to the half time point now. That have a small window of, of opportunity. And it will let rest with this pistol round that we're coming up with. Again, they've been unfortunate in the knife rounds. And uh, being on the less favored side four games in a row. But so they have won some of those games, so you know there's a lot more to it than that. Mm -hmm. But again, they have to win this pistol round. Not a single person on that has double figures in terms of frags right now. Yeah, it, it, this th I feel like I've had games like this on Mirage sometimes, where like nothing quite comes together, and then your money sucks, and then you just just, just I don't know. Because the thing is, when you when you have a situation where the game gets a little bit too one-sided, like we saw on Inferno. You get you don't have as many chances because your money is so terrible and their money is always so good. It means that you never get them on the eco. You never get to build your economy, so you get even less chances. It's it's a slippery slope, and that's exactly what happened to that. There, they they went on the slippery slope, and there was no way to to clamber their way back up it once the the money started to get really bad, and. Uh, we didn't even see any successful set plays. But either way, we're into the pistol around here. That can, as I said, absolutely can recover this. It all starts here with a pistol, of course. And we do see uh, some smokes coming in for, from that to try to uh, stop this push. Wow, what a shot from Bondic over by CT with that USP. In goes Dozier, though, to try to deal with him. And that's exactly what's going to happen as we have a three on three with the bomb down. Hellraiser's looking quite sexy at the moment. <laughs> Day Dozier with another one. And it's all on World Edit in a one-on-two. This is such a must right now for that. World Edit, can he save his team? Absolutely not. Kucha with the frag. And Hellraiser's pick up the pistol. He's been crucified. As you said, this this could just be just over right now. We're going to have to see if uh, that can can uh, can do something special. I mean, we saw the, a situation early on where we had a big swing. Um, where that looked really good at the start, but then they pushed into Simple, with, who wasn't smoked, and he killed all of them. And then they picked up all the weapons, and then it was over. Yeah, now the opportunities are running out for that. They have uh, gone for a, quite a reasonable eco here. They haven't really bought anything. There's no armor on them. They've got a flashbang on Blade, and that's about it. So, uh, see the bomb's been left in a very passive position. They've got a large presence in mid, three players making sure that if any frags come in, there are players there to trade frag. You can see that creeping up short at the moment with only uh, Bondic holding down the A site. He's going to be last man standing. He will go down as well. So now it's decision time for that. Are they going to go for the force by here? I'm expecting that they probably will. Yep. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really rough. I mean, there, there is different schools of thought, but I tend to agree with the school of thought that says you're so far behind that you just you just try to win every round. You're, no matter what you're doing, it's gonna you're gonna be very far behind. So you might as well try to get as many rounds as you possibly can together. And uh, we're gonna see Hellraiser's 
probably would start just start to just be even more dangerous because they just don't care. They got they, they can just take any risk they want, and there's no real re repercussions. They've already got. I, I don't rounds. I don't think they will because they've been in similar positions before and haven't won the they game. They have been burned by that. You're exactly, right. Exactly. Yeah. Are right, so yeah. I think they're going to show some discipline here. They go for a five-man push into the A bomb site. Nades flashes everything. Whole shebang. They are going to get counter flash though. On deck with the first frag, Angel of a trade. Got a CT repositioning here, being patient. Gonna go for the retake here, gonna stay behind the smoke. Not gonna do anything crazy. Well, then it has spotted someone running through the smoke there, and that's gonna be the bomb on the floor. One man advantage here, gets taken out by Simple. Suddenly the CTs have one man advantage. They have got a bomb as well, so they could definitely do this. Those are gonna just try an audacious plant there. They're with that Mag 7. Oh, he gets the kill on Dozier. The mag delivers in that moment at mid-range as we have Simple in a one-on-two with 35 seconds left on the clock. And of course, there is a player in CT, one over by Connector. This is uh, all going to be about the timing here. There it is, there's the peak. Now they know where Simple is. Wow, look at that, how far back Blade is there. They go for the fake plant. He goes to step down there, that's huge. Simple with a huge health advantage against Blade as well. Simple in a very nice position. Blade in it edges way upstairs. Goes for the drop, trying to get a good angle. But Simple, too far ahead on the health. Going to take the fight. Going to take the round and put Hellraisers on to match point. And things look soon to be over as that are on another force buy. And uh, their chances to make the finals are all about to be snuffed out. Well, this has been a fantastic story tonight. And again, um, Hellraisers were a slight favorite on CSGO Lunch. They were a, a reasonable favorite on uh, eGaming bets, to say the least. And it seems like a good decision here. I know um, Blade was fairly confident of a 3-0 here. Again, so many storylines. But um, again, it's last map, 15-3 right now. There is a one-man advantage here. Adren taking out Markolov, so it's not over yet see what damage Simple can cause with this AWP. Has been naded to 60 HP as uh, there is a complete committal to the A site here from Hellraiser. They, are, they have been smoked off. This will slow them down. Nice frag through the smoke there from Blade. Trade from Kucha. We do have Bondit in a very um, interesting position where he can do something sneaky. There was a smoke there as well, so uh, the gimmick's paid off. Gets another frag with the 5-7, so nice hold from that. They only lose one player. That smoke towards uh, A ramp was very, very strong and made it very difficult, made it very predictable as to where the uh, Hellraiser's team would emerge. Limited their options to spread out and worked in Dap's favor. But again, uphill struggle, 11 round deficit right now. It is very, very, very rough, but uh, Hellraiser's, they can do again pretty much whatever they want. With this kind of a scoreline, they can just run at them again and again and again. Obviously, Ooh. to... Uh, <laughs> wow. Eight health? Was that from one nade? No armor. Oh, that hurts so much. Oh Those my god. Those here with the uh, armor and deal. But, I mean, Hellraisers, they just need to win one round, right? So they can lose. They can just keep losing the rounds. Play the role of attrition. Keep the CT economy low. Buy every si they should basically buy every single round because eventually they'll get the uh, 3400 bonus and they'll be able to always afford to at least have Galil, and armor if they really want. So uh, there's, there's, I mean, they, they could maybe fit in an eco. If, if they don't do a lot of damage each time, they can maybe fit in an eco to get a good round in, but otherwise they can just keep buying. So that against the wall here. we we'll have to see if uh, Hellraisers are able to find a pick here. That have been quite defensive. Quite defensive, defensive indeed. They don't want to risk anything, which is very smart. You can see that Hellraiser's trying to work within their limitations here with those pistols. They want to try to get those close ranges in, but that are very cognizant of this and are denying them those angles they want. Flamey does take down Doja. In they go through connector. Blade can be able to pick up too as they spill on through. And there's Bondic with a nice tidy frag over by the slope as well. And simple... <laughs> I mean, he really just needs to stay alive here. Do you think they're going to find him, James? I think the purpose of Hellraiser's waiting so long was they've got one shot at pushing the site. If it fails, let's at least run down the clock so Simple has a better chance of saving that AWP because um, that's have less time to hunt for him. So I think that was a very uh, strategic play by Hellraiser's in order to save that AWP. Definitely don't want World Edit getting hold of it. So um, good thinking there by Hellraiser's. That's... Uh, 
put one notch back on the ladder, but many more notches to go. Yeah, this 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 is so fragile right now. A simple could just win the round with a quick pick here onto world of it. They take mid control immediately, put a lot of pressure on that. It, it can all go wrong in so many ways. We'll have to see if uh, if that's going to happen. We do have, I think, yeah, Markloff pushing down through underground, able to get himself towards connector. He needs somebody close by so that he can peek it and so I also flash him in so he can get a trade. But uh, Simple's pretty far back. Smoke should allow them to get pretty close. There it is. There's the uh, second man. Kucha can support uh, Markloff there, and they can actually go and peek connector now, or boost. Those are the two options here. We've got World of It. He's, ooh, he's actually spamming through the smoke. Misses it, though. Has some help, and that is going to be enough to catch Markloff getting boosted up. Hellraiser is losing a man, and uh, that might just be in with enough of an advantage to clinch this. And they have good positions as well. Hellraiser is going in slowly but steadily. Great shot there from Kucha. But Hellraiser is undeniable. Going to make their way up onto that bomb site. It has to be the B players to save it now. Adrenaline and Flamey coming in for that. Flamey, ooh, barely gets the frag onto Dozier. Gets the second with the last two bullets of the M4. Very well done. And that makes a huge difference. That's simple, though. And a one on two. He's been in worse situations. Jungle. He has no idea where he got shot from. But yeah, that time is really going to play against them here. And there's the smoke. He's going to keep himself alive once again. But that's a lot of damage done to that here. We're going to have to take a, a quick check of their money. Okay, they're, they're, they're pretty fine on the money. That's all right then. Makes sense because they didn't do much damage in the previous round. So, uh, Simple's trying his best to win this match without reaching double figures in deaths. Well, without buying ever again as well. <laughs> yeah. He's got nine deaths at the moment. He wants to avoid that ten. That's why he's running away all the time. That's the real reason, guys. Let's see if he can get a, a frag. Oh, he might catch Wadadit if he if Wadadit does the rotation. Oh, he's okay. Yeah, I thought he's going to run straight for the jungle peak, but never mind. Let's see where Bondic is actually. Oh, he's in a very aggressive position, so looking to uh, wipe out this eco. Again, we have uh, Angel just watching out for any flanks, keeping the uh, options open for Hellraisers as he is near the entrance to B at. Meanwhile. Gonna have that aggressive positioning from Bondic. Can throw a nice pop flash there off the left side of the arch as you run towards it, which lands at the bottom of the stairs and flashes almost everyone down there. Obviously, uh, no such risks need to be taken here by that. They are against match point every round for the remainder of this game. It is 4-4. Four, four. This is the uh, last game. This is the deciding game of this match. A chance to play LDLC this weekend in the grand final. Stuff there, good flashes for that A defense, and uh, Hellraisers can't quite seem to edge their way in. And uh, Simple still alive. <laughs> Can Simple, Simple? Can Simple stay alive again? <laughs> he's got no armor. No, he hasn't had. Oh, any because he's he has, surviving he, every round. Yeah, he's yeah, not he's getting any money. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> this is like that's, uh, what I, that's why I said that he's never going to buy again. <laughs> live that's and not. let die. He's literally got zero in the bank. Yeah, he just he, he just can't even buy a decoy. The thing is, is that simple. All simple has to do, like we saw this round, he was going for a timing. All he has to do is actually just get a good timing and then just get the one frag. Ooh, he oh, he missed oh. it. Was that after the round as well? Yes. Oh, that no. is massive. <laughs> On zero dollars. Nice. Um, but yeah, but I mean, like all they needed was simple to have like an early pick. On one of the off the spawn timings in that round, we saw him go to apartments. He didn't go to jungle because he got smoked. It, it did get smoked off, but if if they did try to do a quick peek for aggression, he would have killed them. And then all of a sudden, they got a weak A defense. Your teammates near slow, but boom, the round can be over. It just it just took that one pick from simple. But he did, but they, it just never quite happened. We saw him trying B apps as well. We saw him trying all over this place, but he, he's not finding it. It's not coming too easily for him. And this now he's he's in the horrible position of having literally no money, nothing, <laughs> nothing in the bank. <laughs> He might not have an AWP for a while, although, that said, Hellraisers may sacrifice a gun on someone else in order to get him back in mm. the game. Let's see if Angel buys it. Okay, see, I guess it was Angel whose keyboard was disconnected briefly. But uh, Simple just going to be rocking with Glock because he's got nothing in the bank <laughs> whatsoever. Just going to be admiring the paint on the walls right now. Needs uh, somebody to, needs to follow someone and then pick up that gun. 
<laughs> he gets wow. maided as well. He's got no money for armor. To uh, add insult to injury, 54 HP. This is like really. This is just like a really sad. It's kind moment, of amazing. It's really moment quite for funny. simple, like <laughs> just quite a kind of depressing. Actually. Pretty dire situation, yeah. But let's have a look and see how much uh, how much Blade can do. Blade's position here is really important. Hold it. He he holds the key to connect her, and he, and look, we can see the presence that Hellraisers have in middle. If they get connected control, they can do so much. They can put pressure on B, they can put pressure on A, they can put pressure on window, all from connector. So it's very important that that's kept under control. And this is again one of the reasons why uh, Virtus Pro was so good in this map. They recognized this and they treated it with the respect it deserves. Another team that is fantastic on connector control is Fnatic. They have the most amazing ability abilities and setups to, to protect it. So we'll have to see if... Uh, if Hellraisers can find a pick, they are cycling back around after showing big mid presence towards A. Only uh, two, pl okay, three players here on A now for that. So it's all going to come down to these uh, these engagements. Kucha whiffing some shots there, and that no one's coming. In go the grenades. Played with the peak there, it's a spray down from Markloff. Looking uh, pretty chaotic right now. We've got a two versus three in favor of that. No time. The bomb needs to go down now. There's five seconds left. Simple can do nothing. He picks up a weapon and he gets taken out immediately. <laughs> I think at this point he just wants to die. Yeah, pretty much. So he can actually get some money. Like Simple literally has done nothing for about five or six rounds. I mean, <laughs> it's kind of funny actually. We keep hearing that sound, the dum of the match point resounding through the, the map, the dusty halls of Mirage. However, Hellraisers cannot seem to clinch it just yet. They are looking quite... I mean, they, they haven't shown any sign of... Uh, I think they had one round where they did quite a lot of damage. But other than that, the money really tells the story. Worth noting, Kucha has gone only Deagle saving $2,800. And he's got no armor either. So I think he is a backup plan if they lose this round to buy the AWP for Simple. I think that's uh, the ultimate key. I mean, in theory, you, you could even say that Simple in some of these spots to just give up the idea of warping at this point and just if they just try to get a, you know a fast hit on a site that's also very viable it depends on i guess how her razors can really use them but so far they've not been able to use them properly at all no they want they want him to kenny s this round this is a problem that uh the old titan lineup had against Fnat uh was it fanatic no Virtus pro Virtus pro never peaked their author so their author was never had action so uh that are playing defensively they are denying the author as well so it's uh, as much to their credit, but well, in fact, it should be to their credit that Simple's not getting opportunities when he gets that AWP in hand. And the smokes do go down. Can they make this push work? They've been quite slow about it so far, as we have Bondic just checking over the toll booth. You can see what's going on. Why well, are they able to take a quick frag? Things going pretty darn well again for that. Hellraiser is kind of dribbling into the site, staggered into the site, and not really doing much of anything. In fact, only taking down World at it. At so what uh, point do you start to get worried if you're Hellraiser? Um, I don't know, man. I mean, this is it now. Kucha spawning with 6,200. This, this is it. It's always worrying if you can't win a round. Like, if, if there's lots of spots where you can't get opportunities, that's always worrying. However, can this be the round where Simple does make the difference with that AWP? Or will that keep denying it? They should know it's coming at this point. Or should at least have a feeling that it's coming. That's a very quick glance at the money. There's nothing in the bank now for Hellraisers. They need to make this happen. And uh, that just need to either eliminate Simple, as they just have done with uh, some great teamwork with Flashbang there. Now let's see. There's uh, one person taken out of that so far. Potential second pick coming in here on the A site from Dozier onto Bondic, as you see. That's going to force the rotation here from World Edit. Now, Hellraisers have an opportunity to take some jewels here. If they can get the better of them, then this could be round 16. Yeah, the bomb is coming through from T spawn. Oh, hello. Dozier picks up Blade. World Edit, though, with the catch onto Dozier. Bomb making its way up slope now. And uh, they should have a good idea of what's happening. But it's just well done. It's, he needs to get a frag here. Absolutely. If he goes down, that's okay. But he's got a frag. He gets the frag. Kucha falls to the ground. And now it's all on Markloff here as he does try to protect himself with the smoke. 30 seconds left. That bomb's down. Kuch, uh, Markov closing the distance. Excellent work by Markloff. Smart play. And that's going to give him the space now, the breathing room to get the bomb planted. A drain going to pop around from CT spawn as Markloff tries to check all the angles. 
he really doesn't know where Adren can be at this point, but just has to take oh, a safe totally. position. This is a good spot now. Adren, now the one ha who has to check all the positions. Adren eventually can give his position away with the... He has to fake the defuse to just bring Markov out of where he's hiding. That's a great move here from Markov. He's going to just barely spot it. He's going for the hold. Markov's too slow. And that gets around. Markov had the... Oh, no. How gutting must that be for Elrays as he went for the hold. How brave is that? Is he to go for the hold there? So brave. That was like 0 0.01 seconds. Yeah, I mean that was crazy. Such pressure on his shoulders. He was convinced that Markov was down behind the smoke and slope as well, I think. Wow. wow. Bulls of steel, my friend. Yeah. Bulls of steel. And now it's 15 to 10. And Hellraiser's is having another buy. I mean, that bomb plant, excellent for their economy. Plus $800. On top of the already hefty uh, 3,400 max consecutive round loss bonus, so uh, Heidi 4,200 there for that for them. No, Flaming yes. going for the pop flash into Biaps there, but missed it completely, which isn't going to allow Dren to get the peak. But they've uh, got the frags anyway. Dren doesn't need no flash. What are they going down as he's trying to smoke off Connector? Timely peaking there by Markov. It is a one-man advantage in favor of that. They have come so far. In this match in the second half, the bomb has been left in T-spawn to allow the terrorists to consider their options. Simple, still looking for openings onto the B-bomb site. Not going to find anything. End of platform is going to be smoked. Unbeknownst to him, there is going to be an Adren waiting. If Simple jumps out, he's going to be in trouble. He has to just wait it out right now. Flamey's going to take it out, though, as Adren misses the jump. Going to be a uh, four on two now as the bomb is slowly creeping towards the B bomb site, but uh, things haven't been looking good for Hellraisers for a while. I mean, they're looking terrible for that, but uh, <coughs> they're looking better and better. Only Angel left versus Fauna. It's going to be great for the CT economy as well. That are now within four rounds of overtime. Yeah, this is a crazy way to finish this off. As we said, it's absolutely doable, and Hellraisers have to be having very nasty flashbacks right now to some of those matches, because I'm pretty sure it's a, a match against ESC, uh, it was probably an SLTV or something um, where that happened like many months ago, where they were basically like 14-1 and then they lost or something. So uh, a huge comeback. That are they going to put them through that devastation again? Well, it's uh, it's definitely looking much better, and they have the momentum now. They've got to be feeling really good at, the, at this point, but they can't put a single foot wrong. And we are going to see Hellraiser's taking over middle. They have Connector. There's nobody on Palace or Slope here. So this is very much the B play coming in from Hellraiser's with that Connector guy able to lurk to delay rotation. And in comes the push up onto Shore. They get the opening kills. But Flamey going to be stopping two players dead. Dozy and Kucha die. And we have Angel taking the trade. Three on three. The bomb towards B. But now going back. Oh, this is, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? Bondic up on that. Well, Bondic's exposed. Palace duty. They'll see his gun. He's going to turn around just in the nick of time. They, they did see it, and there it is. Not much to do there, but wow. Actually, in trying to take that angle, he gets exposed to Blade over by CT. And it's a one on two now. Blade, he's got to save the round for that. This is absolutely possible, but no. Simple with the instant headshot. 16 to 11. Hellraisers are going through to the finals against LDLC, and that's going to be an excellent finals that for you guys here for the G2A.com European Cup on Sunday. But, I mean, we just we need to, like, give a moment there for that. They've had a phenomenal performance uh, through and through all their matches last month, uh, this month as well. So uh, massive props to that. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see Hellraisers going through. It's, it's yeah. just interesting stuff. It was a great best of five there. That with a valiant comeback in that second half of, after such uh, a terrible first half for them. Hellraiser did so so well, and uh, I, I thought they were done for. But they Absolutely, they they yeah. could have they came so far, and they could have definitely brought that to overtime. But uh, one, p I mean, when you're up against so many match points, want the wrong pick and at the wrong time, and it's game over. Absolutely. I mean, is there anything else to say, James? I mean, that's the end of the show. Essentially, we've got to wrap things up. You guys got to check out G2A.com because if it wasn't for them, this tournament wouldn't have been put on. These guys 
have obviously thrown the money into the prize pool. They've been supporting CS. They're a great presence in the esports community. So show them your love. If you're looking, if you miss some games um, for after Christmas, I know everyone's in a game buying frenzy in Christmas. Check out G2A.com. They've got a great store for you to find some great games, great keys at great values. So check them out. And uh, massive props to G2A.com. And uh, anything you want to say, James, before we bid these lovely people, these handsome viewers, a, a farewell? Well, if if uh, if Blade is still working with Hellraisers on a pro bono basis, now they're in the final of this cup, is he going to be working with them? I guess if, if it's over the internet, it's going to be a bit difficult, but is he going to help them prepare for LDLC? That's what I want to know. I, I really don't know. I mean, that's something we'll have to, we'll have to ask Blade and find out, but... Uh, all right then, guys, thank you so much for watching. Again, you can catch the grand finals of this cup on Sunday, LDLC oh, and Hellraisers. One more point. I'm sorry, but I just love he does interrupting this every, every time. your outros. God damn it. Th I do guy. believe that there is going to be an interview with a new Titan player, RPK, coming onto Facebook shortly. So if you're interested in hearing more about RPK, definitely look on the Facebook, facebook.com forward slash face it community. All right, guys. Well... That is good night from me, DDK, and James here. Hope you enjoyed the show, and we'll see you on Sunday.